Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to introduce a brilliant comedian, one of my favorites and one of my dear friends. But unfortunately, no matter what this man does, he gets no respect. So tonight, we're going to give him some respect. We're going to dress up his act a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rodney Dangerfield and the Gerald Wilson Orchestra. This is, this is one place they treat you right, you know? Although before the show, one guy gave me a hard time. He kept looking at me and looking at me. He said, what I know you from, you know? I said, you ever watch a Tonight Show, Johnny Carson? He said, yeah, you too. <laughs> I meet the wrong people. That's my trouble. And like last week, I met the Surgeon General. He offered me a cigarette. I gotta lose some weight. That weight is a rough one. Every day is a battle with weight. Last week I went nuts. I tried the rice diet. Between meals, kept folding my shirts. <laughs> I'll tell you my trouble. I got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Doctor Vinnie Boombots. That's my doctor. <laughs> yeah, I saw him last week. I told him I got a ringing in my ear. He said, "Don't answer it." <laughs> Oh, one time I saw him, he told me to run five miles a day for two weeks. I called him up. I said, Doc, I'm 70 miles from my house. <laughs> I saw my dentist last week, too, another beauty. I said to him, Doc, can you put in a new tooth to match my other teeth? He put in a tooth with four cavities. <laughs> I didn't like my dentist the first time I saw him. I said to him, look at my teeth, they're all getting yellow. He told me to wear a brown necktie. <laughs> I tell you, last week was a rough week for me. I broke up my psychiatrist too last week. He told me I'm going crazy. I said to him, if you don't mind, I like a second opinion. He said, all right, you're ugly too. <laughs> uh, I tell you, my family, there's always something. My uncle just died too, went to the funeral. And my uncle, he was an atheist. Oh, it was pitiful, he was lying there, all dressed up. No place to go. <laughs> He was a lazy guy, my uncle. Who was he lazy? He was so lazy, he married a girl who was pregnant. <laughs> uh, okay, nobody has it easy in life, nobody. Well, I feel sorry for short people. When it rains, they're the last ones to know about it. <laughs> Am I too deep for this whole section over here? <laughs> My car wouldn't start today again. I got a car, I got nothing but trouble with it. And every Sunday, I take my family out for a push. <laughs> I spent half my life hanging around gas stations. And one thing, when I look for my car, it's so easy for me to find it, you know? It's always on a lift. <laughs> I'm always watching it going up and down and up and down. I got the only car that has more miles on it vertically than horizontally. <laughs> Last time my wife drove the car, she cracked it up too. She went into a tree. She told me it wasn't her fault. She blew the horn. <laughs> oh, the first time she drove the car, she hit a deer. It was in a zoo. <laughs> I tell you, my whole life, I don't get no respect. By the time I asked my old man if I can go ice skating on the lake, he told me to wait till it gets warmer. 